this isn't this is really just some meaningless thing um this average classes level value or how we get to it i mean there's, there's no enough really structure to it we just need to spit out some value that's reasonable for the calculations and that doesn't do things like decrease the cost as you get more classes all right to 88 which is still less than what it was before so what if we just take this dividing out Is what gets tricky is trying because as we get more stuff in here so as we get more classes now we're not going to have to deal with that we're not dividing it on that now we're dividing it on the, the full thing which i guess technically is probably the same thing but let's see what happens all right so level 20 i guess so level 20 is 68 Okay, so it goes up by one. Good. So that should be inside of the map that floor. So basically this is saying that as you gain experience to change a class, you have to pay more. The next question though is what about when you have a lot of classes, which is what we're going to test in a bit. So we have enough to change for this one. It's our cost, 60, that's fine. Um, we'll change to a fighter. Now you won't have to change. You won't have to, to pay any money to change back to a class you've already been to. Sixty-nine. So have to be at least. I think that'll work. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to change to from fighter to um, knight. No, not knight. Brawler. So 106 to change to brawler. Like 107, I think, or something. Yeah, we're adding one more into there. So, so the next would be a pit fighter. So we need 65, 65, and 40. This isn't really enough, it needs to be more. Um, I think we need to drop the, the, the divide a bit. Okay, let's see, 55 for this.
Yeah, there's 278, so... Um, let's go ahead and save this. Let's drop this to 1.75. Reload the script. Well, the game. Let's go reload the script. And then we'll see whether that change does. No, no, no. If that change does to the cost. We need the cost to be way higher. So that's kind of okay. Um, maybe we need to be looking at our thing up here now. So, average class levels, which really isn't average anymore, plus 40, or, well, wait, well, actually it's 10, because we actually have set it to 10, um, divided by 2.5. So, what if we just divide it by 1.25, instead of 2? this and then come back over here and change it here 1.25 because I think if we change the change it here in the plugin setting it's going to change it too much So we may end up having to do that, changing that um, second value higher, um, or changing how that algorithm is entirely, but um, I'd rather first check this out and see just what we can do by changing a few smaller things first. Okay, that's a little bit better. And right, still, so if you're at this point in the game, where you have this many levels on, this on these classes, I want to think it should be in the tens of thousands, if not even hundreds of thousands, because at that point you're going to have a lot of gold. And it should be at least 20,000 in my opinion. The problem is how do we get from that to where we want, what we have to where we want to go to without adversely impacting the lower classes. Um, so, okay, let's go ahead and change this, uh, the values here for this. Um, so this is average class levels plus 10 times 10 divided by, so what if we say 10 times 10 times, uh, what if we say multiply this instead? And then dividing that by the 1.25, which we probably would put back up to two in this case. This is going to be massively huge. Like, I have no clue how large this is going to be. Massively huge, though. Okay, this is a bit better. 32,000 is a bit better. Actually, that's more in line with what I was thinking. So that's not too bad, really, to be honest. Um, now, we'll, let's go back and start um, a new game real quick. Let's just grab ourselves up to uh, our first, well, kind of first character change. Class change. So now what is it now? It's three, four thousand. That's that's actually not too bad to be honest. Because at this point, if you're at level twenty-three in the game, my game anyway, um, this is going to be a reasonable amount. Um, now what I want to do is we're going to change this around a bit. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this. Well, let's delete this and delete this. Change this. I am going to give you the classes. All right. So we're going to essentially set up ourselves for a class change to a Viking. Um, for that, I need to find my, see, Viking, what do we need for that? I think it's in the fighter thing, so it's kind of halfway there. So, um, 85, so, uh, novice 85, 
Um, Warrior, 75. Fighter, 75. Berserker, no. Brawler, um, 65. And then Berserker, um, 40. So those are the classes. Those are the classes and levels we need to apply. So what I need to do now is I need to go up to here and say new. Go change class. Well, first we have to go uh, change level to uh, party uh, constant. So um, eighty five. New class change. Change class. Um, so that'll be Feltho to a warrior. Edit this down to 75. Then a fighter. Then we need to change to a Pit fighter, um, 65, and then to a berserker, or actually it should have been brawler. Okay, so now if I talk to him, we will get the classes and levels set up for changing to a Viking, and we'll check that out against this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do another one, and set us up for another class tree, and then we're going to check it again. So in this case, if we're going to do multiple class trees and multiple classes, like for example, maybe I have an achievement that I set up uh, where... Um, you have to, uh, to get the achievement, you have to, like, be a Viking and a uh, Warlock or something. Or have ever, have one character have every class, um, every class possible, or have all characters of all classes possible. Alright, so now we're a Berserker at level 41. So 56,000 for this one class. So that's fine. Um, now we're going to do the same thing, except we're also going to do it for High Wizard. Just going to kill this off. And we're going to do a self, um, a self variable to A, copy, paste, condition, self switch, A is on. And then now, actually, it's um, High Wizard. Or, no, it's not. So Warlock. No, it is High Wizard. Okay. Um, so 80, 75 on Mage, level 11 on uh, Warlock, and then 20 on High, high uh, no, Warlock. Um, wizard. So Novice, Mage, Wizard, Warlock. High Wizard. So, Novice, Mage, Warlock, High Wizard. Uh, 80, 75, 65, 40. So, we don't have to worry about that because we're already going to be the proper level for that. So, we can get rid of that. Um, this uh, will change us down to a Mage. Um, 75 is fine. Then to a Warlock. Um, 65. And then to a 
I wizard no to a crap. <clears throat> so wizard warlock then high I'm just let's see. All right, because we're not doing novice, so that is right. Uh, then to uh, so mage warlock, and then wait, there should still be one more in between. Uh, warlock, family person, the uh, gun, the captain, sword dancer, high wizard dancer. Now that's the that's the the high one now. So mage, wizard, warlock, high wizard. So it is just three. Mage, warlock, because novice we already have done. So it's only five on the branching ones. I'm going to check that again because maybe I'm wrong. So 84, 11, 1, 4, 11. So 1 is novice, 4 is mage, 11 is wizard, and 20 is warlock. Yeah. So just mage, warlock, and wizard. Wizard, wizard, wizard. We're missing the wizard. That's why. Now, Warlock at 40. Yeah. All right. Now, <laughs> now it should work. Well, not work, but now it should actually allow us to change if we were going to. All right. So, new game, and we want to test. So, now we're just essentially setting us up for two, two uh, going through two of the class trees. So, now we have all. Okay, now I just like gave myself all kinds of levels that I didn't mean to. But that's fine. <laughs> okay, so we have a crap ton of levels. What are we gonna pay? Change to a high wizard. A hundred thousand. To be honest, that's not really. So yeah, it's like about fifty thousand per tree. So for all eight trees, that's like 400,000 to change one class though. So that means that the cost will be, so let's say you do one tree or 50,000, there's gonna be 50,000 plus whatever else levels you have for each new class. So each class has a specific value to it based on its levels. I was hoping maybe more to do it like say, okay, for every new class you have, there's a certain range or something, but this works too. Um, I mean, when you have to change, like if you're at three, let's say you're at two, well, you're at two trees completed. You want to change to a another class down to another tree, you're going to be paying at least 100,000 100, per class you change to, no matter what that class is. So that works. So there, there's that part. Um, now for the item cost, that's a different thing to consider altogether. Um, first, let's go ahead and implement the um, the actual cost part of it, where we have to subtract it from the, the the total gold from the party and the checks and whatnot for that. So, um, this is going to be done on the actual class. Well, it'll be done on the command list when we're setting up whether or not the command to change the class is active. So this here. Um, we have to add some other checks here. So um, we need to set up a variable at here that'll be um, essentially global to the the plugin, um, similar to what this is. So oh, um, these will be uh, plugin global global plugin variables. We call them. And these are just um, uh, 
Um, we'll call them uh, prem plugin bears. So different things. They're all global, but it just has different meanings. So these uh, these will be okay. This actually can come down here. So these are going to be the values uh, for will be the variables that'll be pulling values in from the plugin manager. So whatever is changeable in the editor, uh, what the values of those are, will come into these first ones. These second ones are just going to be um, uh, variables that are set either set directly here or that are filled within the plugin itself and don't have anything to do with the MV editor at all. So that's how I'll differentiate those two between plugin. Uh, Parameter plugin variables and global plugin variables. Uh, so we need one more here called, well, we'll need two gold cost and bear item cost. Just so we have that for later on. So now we need to come back down here and uh, G cost. Um, we can change to gold cost. And we'll take the bear out because it's being defined somewhere else. And put that there. And now we need to come over to here. And outside of this, we have to say, okay, everything else is true. Everything has gone through this stuff and it's all checking out or isn't checking out. Um, so we need to say then only if um, only if it's true. Only if you can change because we don't want to say if they can't change, but then they meet this one requirement that they can change. So only if B actor can change is already true. Well, only if it, okay, if it's true. Then we check um, if gold cost is either less than or equal to, I think it's game party dot gold. And if it is, then fine. Um, if it's not, then we want to change B actor can change to false. Because we don't have the gold, then we don't want them to be able to change. And then we'll do the same thing. Uh, well, actually, then we also have to say if um, B cost mod cost mode enabled. And then um, an additional if B is enabled. I mean, to be honest, we could skip this and just say if the B cost thing is enabled because either it's going to be true or false, and this will be set, cost mode will be set by it. But I'm doing this for defensive sake. So if for some reason, somehow, for some whatever odd frigging weird arse reason, gold cost is enabled as true, but then cost mode is not enabled, this would fire and cause a crash. Because this value would be nothing, and so it would not work properly or crash the game. So it's just defensively, just to per, just for checking for just weird, crazy stuff that might happen. Um, and then uh, we'll do the if um, B is item enabled, and then we'll just won't put anything down for this one yet. Whoops. Oh, what's going on? Uh, controls in here. I just won't put anything in there for right now. Because we're not doing any checkings, we're not setting up a cost for it yet. So now, theoretically, if we try this and we try to change, it should not let us change even once because we won't have the gold to change the first time. So now if we try, I'm just going to do it with this, with the, just the novice, because if it works with the novice check, then it works with all of them. So we are now at level 10. We have no gold. 
So this should come up as saying not able to change. Except gold cost is not defined. Of course it's defined. I called it gold cost to her, didn't I? Oh. Forgot to do capital C. Camel case issue. Alright, try this again. Should not work because we don't have that much gold. So, uh, why? So, if, oh, no, that's right. If it's less than or equal to the current existing gold per. I thought maybe I had it backwards, but no. Um, if Atrican change is enabled, is enabled, obviously, is enabled. Because it isn't enabled, that's why. Well, no, yeah, it is, because it's showing up here. Crap. Um, so if G, let's see, gold cost, if not. So if, maybe this if statement's wrong. Maybe we can't do it that way. Um, Well, we don't need to change it. We don't need an else, so because we're already, it's already true. So we just need to see if we need to change it to false or not. Let's go ahead and do some looks at what's going on here. Or is there, maybe there's a, no, it's not a code issue. If it was a code issue, it wouldn't even run, actually, so it's not a code issue. Well, not a, you know, some sort of exception happening. All right, um, let's see. I'm pretty sure it's party gold. I'm pretty sure that's the proper variable to be looking at. So, seriously. Okay, there we go. Um. And I'm gonna check what uh, the value of uh, this is. See what this comes out as. Then I want to see what gold cost is. And then I want to see what. Oh, really? That's why. It's a function, not a statement. Not a variable. You try, you try to treat a uh, function like a variable, it just doesn't work. Alright, that should actually work. Now. Kill the breakpoints, so I don't think we're going to need them. Okay, now we do need them. Alright, let's go ahead and enable them. Wah, wah. 